What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Child's Play, Chucky, whatever you want to call it at this point in this video here today, because we know that Chucky Season 3 Part 2 will be returning to the USA Sci-Fi Network on April 10th, and it's going to be four episodes, episodes 5 through 8, yeah, 5 through 8, and then we don't know what's going to come after that. However, Don Mancini has given us a very exciting bit of news recently I think this was with Scream Dreams podcast. I'll leave a link to it in the description and I'll actually just post about it on Twitter. Uh, I think Dead Meat was a part of this, but during this interview, he was a guest on the Scream Dreams podcast. Don was asked about what else he'd like to work on or do in the future, I guess, in relation to the horror genre and just other projects that he has going on. Don Mancini has revealed that he's totally cool with Chucky being the only thing he works on going forward if it just comes to that. But it's not just that. He mentioned that he is, in fact, working on a new pilot for a new show. I'm curious if that is related to the rumor about him being involved with Crystal Lake, the Friday the 13th franchise show. But then Don revealed that he is in the early stages of working on a new Chucky movie. Now, the reason I want to talk about that is because... One, it's exciting. Two, I'm not against another Chucky movie. I just think that it is time for Chucky, this iteration that we've had of Chucky. Since the revival back in 2013, uh, it's been going 10 plus years at this point. Granted, there was that gap between Curse to where we are now with the TV show. I would like to see Chucky end in some capacity with a solid film, preferably with Don Mancini involved in some capacity. And... I want to discuss where I see this going. I would want and hope that the movie is related to the characters of Nika Pierce and Olivia Allen Lynn's character from the Chucky TV show, Lexi, Lexi Cross, teaming up. I say those two specifically because of the fact that there is material that has been happening with Lexi that is very reminiscent of what Nika has gone through with Chucky. Not that Devin and Jake don't also have things that are reminiscent to Nika too. I just think and prefer Final Girls are much more preferable over Final Boys. That's that's my thing. I think those two characters teaming up would be a lot more compelling. Devin and Jake, obviously they can still be involved, but I would like to see a movie with Lexi and Nika as the two Final Girl roles that are carrying the bulk of the story and they can be hunting down Chucky and Tiffany who have relocated they are with a new family they still have lexi's sister let's say and you can go from there that's what i would like to see in a new chucky film and you can bring in legacy characters if it's necessary not necessarily bring in andy or kyle anymore you can bring in characters like da silva tyler however you want to weave them back into the narrative obviously i know you'll have the argument that andy should be around for the last chucky movie does he really need to be around? I mean, no, he doesn't need to be around. It's just like a preference many of us would have, myself included being someone who's selfish. But I can live with a final Chucky movie that doesn't include Andy Barkley. I think the little nice send off they tried to give him and Kyle in season two, where we flashed back to them exiting the Child's Play or the Good Guy Doll factory at the end of Child's Play 2, I thought that was a nice send off for them. If Andy comes back, that's fine. I just don't think he's necessary to be involved in the last Chucky movie just because it's the last Chucky movie and he was in the first Chucky movie. I don't think so. If you have something useful and significant for him to do, same rules apply like I say with Sidney Prescott and any of these other notable characters that have been in these IPs since their inception. As long as you have something significant and worthwhile to explore with the characters, sure, bring him back. But if not, don't just bring him back because it's the last thing you think he should be there just for the sake of saying, okay, we checked off that box. No. I would like to see Lexi and Nika, because Nika, I think, has been severely underutilized in the TV show. I would like to see Lexi and Nika team up, going after Chucky and Tiffany, who are back together. They still have Caroline. Caroline could have infiltrated a new family. Maybe the maybe Chucky and Tiffany themselves have inf infiltrated a new family, and you just take your narrative from there. But I thought that was a very bit of exciting information for Don Mancini to share, that there is a new Chucky film that he's in the early stage of working on. So that's very exciting. But I do also speculate, where does this fall in timeline wise? Do we get this after a potential season four? Does he already know that season four isn't going to happen? And that's why he's working on the movie. Or does, again, season four build into 
what is being pinned or eventually i'm assuming he's going to pin what is this new chucky movie so don apparently has already a week ago at this point come out and stated that the movie that's in development is actually supposed to work in tandem with the ongoing tv show so again that begs the question does he know that the show is about to be canceled and he's going to try to wrap up the show and it builds into this new movie or is the movie simultaneously going to be coming out while the tv show is still ongoing but at least we know that they're going to be working together which makes sense anyway because that's what the franchise of films is doing with the tv show they work together so he's just keeping up what has already been the case that's how i take this and my argument behind why i think that lexi and nika could be a lot more of a compelling dynamic to lead a chucky movie is all related to where they've taken lexi's character ever since we met her in season one she's been through every of every similar thing that nika has gone through all the way down to the little girl that she's now trying to save because to me caroline is lexi's sister we know but caroline in a lot of ways you could argue is very reminiscent of what nika went through with her niece alice so i can see nika being a little bit sympathetic towards lexi because of that that is the thing that's currently keeping lexi at the forefront of my mind when it comes to the trio i love all the members of the trio i just think that lexi has been given a like an advantage over devin and jake as characters I would want to root more for in terms of being able to finally kill Chucky. And I think Nika would also connect with her a little bit more simply because of what they're doing with Caroline. But I'm very curious to see what these early stages talks that Don Mancini has revealed leads to. I'm very curious to see what shape this movie will take if it even grows into anything further. It could actually be Chucky versus Megan. You never know. But the big news is that, again, he said he's in the early stages of working on a new Chucky movie. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.